This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from B.B. Comer High School. We are joined by Savannah Sims this morning. Savannah is a junior over at B.B. Comer. Savannah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you getting back in the swing of uh, getting back into school? Well, I just know it has to be done, yeah. so trying to knock this year out and go right. and roll into senior year. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a junior at B.B. Comer. I'm 17 years old. And I've attended B.B. Comer since kindergarten. So it's like a second family. Mm -hmm. And um, I plan to attend Auburn University when I graduate. Okay. Who's your family? Um, Angie and Roy Sims. Okay. That's my parents. You have children, uh, have uh, brothers and sisters? Yes, sir. I'm the youngest of five. Okay. All right. Um, so far, your junior year at B.B. Comer, and you've been at B.B. Comer from kindergarten forward, uh, what's so special about B.B. Comer? Well, it's just, it's a small school, so you are just close with not only your peers, but you're close with administration mm -hmm. and your teachers, and it's just more of a one-on-one -on -one connection, and it's just like a one big family. Yeah. Uh, you're involved in a lot of activities, yes, uh, a number of clubs. Talk about some of those. Well, I'm president of both junior class and student council. And junior class is mainly just responsible for prom because mm -hmm. we organize prom. So that's what we're mainly focused on right now since prom is April 27th. So the days are counting down. We have to get everything finalized. And then student council, we just try to organize fundraisers for different things. Like we host all of our dances mm -hmm. at our school, such as like the Valentine's dance and the homecoming dance. And then I'm vice president of... Focus Club, and Focus Club is having our annual health fair this Friday, and it'll be in our gym. What's that going to be about? We'll just have different vendors, like Coosa Valley mm -hmm. will come, and it's just different vendors around our surrounding tests area. And stuff. Yeah, and they'll yeah. have, like, um, they had, last year we had stress tests, mm -hmm. and then, like, your BMI, yeah. and that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I guess you're excited about the prom. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have a theme for the prom? Yes, sir. We um, Garden of the Lights. So it's okay. going to be kind of like um, like fairy tale, mm -hmm. a lot of twinkle lights and flowers. Now, where is it physically held? It's going to be at Farm Links this year. Okay. Yes, right. sir. And lead out starts at 6 o'clock on April 27th. Wow. I know y'all are excited about that. Uh, you're a writer as well. Yes, sir. I write um, a column for the Silicaga Today. It's called the Tiger Beat. And I just discussed all of the news and upcoming events at B.B. Comer. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the classes that you're taking your junior year and uh, some of the other students come in here and they talk about uh, this pre-calculus and all this kind of stuff. What about you? Yes, sir. I take AP Calculus, AP Chemistry, AP Language, and AP U.S. History. And we're, we're cramming in all of the material we can get because all of our exams are the first week of May. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. Uh, now, uh, does that put much more of a load on you to yes sir it's much more work not just in the classroom mm -hmm. but you have much more work outside of school so you have to find the balance of your social life your school life and all of your other activities outside of school you just have to find the perfect balance so you can get all of your work done have you found it yes sir all right it's it's not easy but easy is never fun i guess <laughs> <laughs> uh savannah sims she's a junior at bb comer and uh, she has represented B.B. Comer very, very well. And uh, she was part of a, a team that created it and, and starring in the production of, the, of an anti-truancy video. Talk about that a little bit and also some of the other uh, outstanding programs you've been a part of there at B.B. Comer. The county asked each school, the elementary schools, the middle schools, and the high schools, to perform some type of campaign for anti-truancy. So... There was a team of about maybe eight or ten students picked from my school, and we just, we had to come up with an idea of how we could get our message across mm -hmm. to students, that they need to come to school, and whenever they're at school, they need to make the most of their time. And so what me and my peers did, we created um, like a commercial, and it was in the point of view of a student who had missed multiple days, and they mm -hmm. were just coming back. So... The students walking down the hall, and 
his like the peers would come up to him and tell him facts about why you need to come to school and it was just like a conversation but the information was still there is that message is it effective um i think so just mm -hmm. because i feel like whenever an adult tells students something it doesn't make the message as strong but whenever you hear it from your peers yeah. and you see that they think it's important it, mm -hmm. it translates to you better it makes you think well maybe since my peers are doing this, I need to do that as well. Now, uh, you were selected as an outstanding student for hero training. What is that about? Yes, sir. So we had a, con a kindness challenge at our school, and um, we had a speaker come in. And so during the first half of the day, he met with the select students from each grade level, and they were the representatives for their grade. And then so you had to come up with something that you'd want to take a part of, like a kindness challenge. Like one of our students, they put post-its in all of the bathrooms mm -hmm. and just with like inspirational <laughs> messages on mm -hmm. it. Just something that will make you smile yeah. and make your day better. Yeah. So he all met, of us need that. Yeah, and he met with us individually and then we met as a group, as a whole, and then we met as the entire student body. And he just shared his message, shared his story, and then he just... It was basically just positivity, just mm -hmm. spread more positivity. Yeah. The uh, student leadership team with the anti-alcohol PSA, speak to that if you would. Yes, sir. So we created a um, another commercial, mm -hmm. and it was about a student. It was like an after-prom type of thing, um, and he was drinking, and we filmed it at Avondale, and then so the student jumped off of the like one of the tallest buildings because uh -huh. he was under the influence and so he jumped off of the building and then all the ambulances come and it just really puts into perspective that what you do does have consequences and the things that you do and the things that you say will always follow you even more than just the drinking it it makes you reflect on how you mm -hmm. act yeah very sobering in it. Yes. Uh, uh, we're talking with uh, Savannah Sim. She's a junior at B.B. Comer, where she's been a student since kindergarten. She ranks third in her junior class, uh, 25 on her ACT, but working on that too, and want to attend Auburn University. What's the future for you, maybe? I'm hoping to study pharmacy. I'm going to do pre-farm, hopefully. And Auburn has one of the best programs in the state. And so, and I don't want to go out of state just because mm -hmm. I am a homebody and I love my family. And so I don't want to go too far. And so I feel like Auburn would be a perfect fit for me so I could study pharmacy but still be close to home. Have you been able to do any preliminary work with any local pharmacists here yet? I haven't, but I'm planning a job shadowing um, with our counselor, Miss okay. Emanuel. And so... I'm hoping, hoping to do that in May. I'm sure you'll do well. Uh, the prom coming up soon. Uh, the finals for classes. So it's a busy time of the year for you guys. And thank you for coming by this morning. Thank you for having me. Talking to uh, Savannah Sims. She's a junior at B.B. Comer. She is our star student of the month. We've got more Daybreak just ahead. This star student of the month was brought to you by TV 47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.